The Campeonato Brasileiro Serie A, commonly referred as Brasileirao, is a Brazilian professional league for men's football clubs. At the top of the Brazilian football league system, it is the country's primary football competition. Contested by 20 clubs, it operates on a system of promotion and relegation with the Campeonato Brasileiro Serie B. Due to historical peculiarities in the large geographical size of the country, Brazil has a relatively short history of nationwide football competitions. Only in 1959, with the advancements in civil aviation and air transport and the need to appoint a Brazilian representative to the first edition of the Copa Libertadores was a nationwide tournament created. Taka Brazil. In 1967, the Tonio Rio Sao Paulo was expanded to include teams from other states, becoming the Tonio Roberto Gomes Pedrosa, which was also considered a national tournament. The first Campeonato Brasileiro with that name was held in 1989. Prior to this, only the seasons post 1971 were regarded as Campeonato Brasileiro. In 2010, the national tournaments from 1959 and 1970, Taka Brazil and Tonio Roberto Gomes Pedrosa, were unified by the Brazilian Football Confederation in the Brazilian Championship history but, cataloging these with their original name in the statistics, indeed they confer the same title, that of Brazilian champion, despite being different competitions, the Campeonato Brasileiro is one of the strongest leagues in the world. It contains the most club world champions titles, with 10 championships won among 6 clubs, and the second most Copa Libertadores titles with 19 titles won among 10 clubs. The International Federation of Football History and Statistics, and Serie A, the Campeonato Brasileiro is the most watched football league in the Americas and one of the world's most exposed, broadcast in 155 nations. It is also one of the world's richest championships, ranked as the sixth most valuable with a worth of over 1.43 billion United States dollars, generating an annual turnover of over 1.17 billion United States dollars in 2012. Since 1959, a total of 156 clubs have played in the Campeonato Brasileiro. 17 clubs have been crowned Brazilian football champions, 12 of which have won the title more than once. Palmeiras is the most successful club of the Campeonato Brasileiro, having won the competition 10 times, followed by Santos with 8 titles, and followed by Flamengo and Corinthians with 7 titles. Santos Os Santasticos won 5 consecutive titles between 1961 and 1965, a feat that remains unequaled. The state of Sao Paulo is the most successful state, amassing 31 titles among five clubs. The Taka Brazil was introduced in 1959, and ran until 1968. The Tonio Roberto Gomes Pedrosa was competed for between 1967 and 1970. In 2010 the CBF announced that these were to be regarded as Brazilian championships. In 1968, the delay in closing the 1968 Taka Brazil made CBD use the Roberto to determine the Libertadores. Representants. With the extinction of the Taka Brazil. The Roberto, officially named by CBD as Taka da Prata, remained the top Brazilian championship the following two years, following Brazil's third world title at the 1970 FIFA World Cup. President Emilio Medici decided to better organize Brazilian football, in a reunion with the CBD and the club presidents in October 1970. It was decided to create the following year a Brazilian championship contested by 20 teams, inspired by the national tournaments in the European nations. The first edition of the named Campeonato Nacional name. In 1987, CBF announced it was not able to organize the Brazilian Football Championship a mere few weeks before it was scheduled to begin. As a result, the 13 most popular football clubs in Brazil created a league, the Clube dos 13, to organize a championship of their own. This tournament was called Copa Uniao and was run by the 16 clubs that eventually took part in it. CBF initially stood by the club of the 13 decision. However, weeks later, with the competition already underway, and under pressure from football clubs excluded from the Copa Uniao, CBF adopted a new set of rules, which considered the Copa Uniao part of a larger tournament, comprising another 16 teams according to that new set of rules. The Copa Uniao would be dubbed the green module of the CBF championship, whereas the other 16 teams would play the yellow module. In the end, the first two teams of each module would play each other to define the national champions and the two teams that would represent Brazil in the Copa Libertadores in 1988. However, that new set of rules was never recognized by the club of the 13 and largely ignored by most of the Brazilian media, who concentrated their attention in the independent league, eventually won by Clube de Regatas do Flamengo. The eventual final 20 was set to have Sport and Guarani, from the yellow module, and Flamengo and International from the green one. It never materialized. How? 